Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Neha. I make video on tech and my life in UK. In the last video, I showed you how you can connect your AWS uh, AWS with your front-end React.js project. In that, we saw three things. We learned three things. How to use a AWS SDK, how to start with IAM and use in your project, and how to use DynamoDB, create table and storing data there. I also talk about the pros and cons. Please watch that full video to understand the pros and cons also. Now today, what we are gonna do? Today, we are gonna use the same example, but we are gonna add a new requirement there. Then now the new requirement is, that whenever the user is entering his or her email ID here, the email ID is going, user's email is ID is going in DynamoDB, but we also want that from our end, there is a thank you email should go to the user. So the moment, I will repeat again, the moment user is entering any email, clicking on submit button, that email ID will go in our DB and store, Plus, our automated email will go from our side to that particular email ID to thanks. So this is what we want to do. Now, how we are going to do it? So we are going to use a new service here, which is known as SES, Simple Email Service. So we are going to learn today how to use this service and what, and, uh, and what are the changes we have to do in our code. So whatever we have done so far, in our previous video, the code, AWS work, everything will remain the same. Your IAM user, your DynamoDB, everything will remain the same. Only what we need to do is we need to set up our SES. So what we are going to do first, we are going to go to our console. We are going to create, uh, we are going to set up our SES service. Once that is done, then we will come to our code. And then in our code, in our React.js, we will do the changes. So let's go to our console. And let's search SES. So you will see Amazon simple email service. Now, why we need this? Because Amazon AWS needs to know that which email ID it should use to send the automated emails to all the users. So here we have to do two things. The first thing is we need to verify that email ID, which we want to use from uh, what we want to use from which our email should go. Example, you get all the sign up emails or auto reply emails. If you will see there, they have two address that from where, sorry, from where it got. So that from we want to set up because AWS is not going to do that for you. AWS is not going to create an email ID for you or send uh, or, you know, set up the whole inbox. AWS will take use that and then will send the email uh, on your behalf. Okay. So for that, what we have to do is we have to first click on identities. So I already did uh, did the setup. I will just show you how to do the steps. So when you will click on identity, you won't see anything here, but you will see create identity, this orange button, click here. And in identity type, select email address. Here you will put your email address. It could be your Gmail, it could be your Outlook, it could be your custom email ID, but it should be the valid one and working one. Why? Because once you will create this, AWS will send an email for verification and that's the most important step. So once you have entered your email ID, click on create identity. Now what will happen as I told you, you will get an email for verification on the email address you put here. Once that is done, so what, it, that email has just a link where you just need to click and verify. What will happen? You will come back to the dashboard and your identity status will show green like this. Okay, so it means you are done, you are set up. It will hardly take two to five minutes based on your internet network. If everything is good within five to uh, two to five minutes, you will be set up and your verified batch would be coming here. Once this is done, then the second step, what you need to do is you need to go to SMTP settings. So this is a simple mail transfer protocol. We need the credentials to use in our code so that our SES, this, this email communication can happen. So all you need to do is just create SMTP credentials. You don't need to change anything. Just click on create user. Once you will do create user, you will receive these credentials. Keep it safely with you because we are going to use this credential somewhere. Okay. So I already have one 
of my uh, previous user a uh, previous email which i have verified so i'm not gonna copy it but you already know the deal drill download it copy somewhere but keep it handy with you that's it this is what we have to do for ses in console now one last change we have to do is in iam so you remember in our first video we created a iam user so we need to go back there and what we need to do is we need to add permission uh, add policies here now why we need because now we are adding a new service ses so this user should be able to access ses service so we i'm gonna write ses and this is amazon ses full access this is what i am giving it now remember when you are working on the production level uh, production code you do you won't be giving the full access you have to this is the this is what the best practice of aws or cloud is that give minimum permissions to your user rather than giving the full access okay but here i am just giving full access next add permission that's it this is the uh, second last change we have to do so let's close oh i cannot close console because we will be coming back here okay so this is done now let's go back to our code so in our code if you remember we have region endpoint access key id service access key and then we had dynamo db and when we are submitting our form here here we were using our dynamo db so now what are the changes we are going to do so what we are going to do is first definitely we need to update our region access key id secret access key at least i have to because i removed it and then we will be setting up our scs so what i am going to do is the region is my us east one i will copy my access key id okay so this is here now what next i want to do is scs i don't need to import because i am already doing import star as aws so i don't need need this so next what i will do is i will use con i will start writing my scs configuration so just like what we did for dynamo db db save Now here what we need to do is first we need to pass region so it's the same same region i will put it here then we have to pass our smtp credentials but in that we have to put host then we should have port then we have auth auth and in auth we will have user and we will have password so let's start with the host if you remember when we were doing uh, our smtp credential creation in that also it the host was mentioned so that is the host we need to use so that's why i told you that copy and save that information with you the port will always be 587 so we will keep it like this let me put here one now let me use my username and password should be in quotes Okay, let me just check. It is giving some extra. Why it is coming red? I think. Yeah, perfect. Let me format it once. Okay, so this is done. Now we can use our SCS. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna go here. In our db client we were we were doing our database entry in our else case here where we have success here we are going to start writing our scs once our data once our email id in database basically it is a confirmation success then what we are gonna do is we are gonna do the word ses email setting email sending part so what I am doing right now, I am creating my confirmation params or parameters. It will have the source that 
which is the source the email id which we entered in our aws our identity that will come here so i will put as of now i will be using this one and then we will be using destination destination means that where the email should go okay so destination it would be to address it addresses and it will be our this email id okay and because this is addresses that's why it is you can have multiple here so you can add more then we will have our message that what message we want to pass we want to send so first we will have subject the subject would be email confirmation and then what would be the body of this that's what we have to put here text data thank you okay and uh, this will just give me a minute this is getting over here now what we will do is we will create a promise we will use ses it has send email method and in that we will pass this and promise okay now once we have written send promise then data data dot catch it would be our error so we can say that as of now i will just do console dot log error so this is done this is all we need to do one more change we have to do is we don't need this endpoint now so i will comment this out we have okay we don't need this endpoint now so everything is working fine all we need to do is just let's do a testing so let's go here and i will write my email id let's do submit let's go back to our dynamo db to see if the data is coming there or not tables it was newsletter explore and email is coming here email is here now we need to wait for our i let me check my email id just a minute i'm checking my email id yep i got it so let me just show you here give me a minute so you can see zero minutes ago this is the email id which i gave uh and this is my amazon ses.com and thank you email confirmation now what i will do is i will do some changes and i would say it's working and so you can see it's working zero minutes ago so this is how you can send the email also to your users who are signing up for your newsletter or your page or whatever the functionality you want to do now few things i want to add here first thing about security again the same request the same thing is that uh, we have our credentials open in our front end code this is a security breach please don't do it it's a good way to learn understand and start with aws for your site projects learning but if you are gonna host your code on github bitbucket public platform or server this is not the right approach okay so be careful in upcoming videos i will talk about that how to make your what are the better op options or approaches if you are keen to know right now basically i hope few of you already guessed this will become a node.js project or a lambda or uh, where we can have the environment variables where we can keep our these secret keys so 
I'm going to talk about these approaches in my upcoming videos and we are going to do the hands on for that. Okay. So that's the another thing. And one more thing is that SES. So let's go back to SES and let's talk here. So if you will see, you will get this yellow box. What it is saying your Amazon SES account is in the sandbox in US East North Virginia. Follow the steps or on the get up set up page get up page to verify your email address and sending domain so that you can start sending email through amazon ses request what what i'm trying to show you that this is a dev sandbox when you will go to prod you need to do uh different some more steps to get the production level account that's it this is what i wanted to call out okay uh definitely this is a paid service but for few a uh, few uh, there is a limit i guess that few you can use it so i would request you before you start doing like sending a lot of uh, emails please check the limit the quota free quota how much it is going to cost you all these things okay please do check that now let's go back and do the clean up the clean up is the most important thing so what i will do is i will start with dynamo db because most of the services are paid and if you are not going to do the clean up it is going to cost you so i will just delete this table directly from here it will ask me confirm delete done it is deleting it will be deleted now i will go to i am the user which i used i'm going to delete it though it is not going to cost but it's a good practice to delete it okay so i'm going to click on uh, neha which i i was using and i'm going to delete it i have all these smtp uh, users so what we can do is we can go to the ses here and we can go to identities and we can go and delete these also you want to keep it you can have it if you don't want to you can delete those okay it's up to you and now i can go back to my im also and all the smt which got created you can see by ses you can just straightforwardly go and delete those this is how you you can do cleanup and this is a best practice because you people are learning right now aws once you are done with everything please delete clean up your aws resources otherwise you will end up with a lot of cost getting on your credit card so please be careful for that perfect so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was helpful for you you are able to understand how to use aws you are getting comfortable with it my plan of future is to take the same problem and show you better approaches there are more than one or two which we are going to explore so please stay subscribe to my channel and also please share in your network let your friends your network know that you are learning aws thank you so much for supporting me take care bye